and welcome to Upside Down Pilates. In today's lesson, we're going to look at what our core really is. All right, Nicole, Eileen, Malia, and Herman will be working with us today. So let's take a, a look at our core. In traditional fitness or kind of the buzz on the street, people talk about their core and they think about their stomach that's about right there. We've already learned that our stomach or our, our stomach is an organ and our abdominals are actually muscles that start all the way up here and go down to here and they come all the way around through our back. If we think of our body more like the earth, the center of the earth, there's magma. And if we think of our body in that sh uh, shape, we're going to look more towards the inside of our body, like the inside of the earth, as opposed to the center of our body, like our stomach. So the core of our body is actually deep inside, close to each one of our joints. And so we're gonna have a core in our wrist, in our elbow, in our shoulder, in our center, in our hips, in our knees, and in our ankles, all right? Some of these muscles are like in our abdominals, the core of our abdominals would be our transversus abdominis, our multifidy that help fire up our spine, our pelvic floor, and even our diaphragm is gonna help stabilize us in the center. In our shoulder, we might look at it like our rotator cuff muscles, the muscles deep that take control underneath our deltoid and underneath our bicep. Um, to move the muscle around, the bones around in small motions as opposed to doing big power moves. Oftentimes what happens is we go and we work out and we fire up all of our big bulky muscles, our biceps, our triceps, our deltoids, our rectus abdominis, um, our rectus femoris, the top layer of our quads, our gastrocnemius, the outside layer of our calf. And these are great muscles to work and use, but if we don't have the support of all the little tiny muscles underneath those muscles, we sometimes end up injuring ourselves just by doing our regular old exercises. So in today's lesson, we're gonna do small, mus or small exercises that are gonna help to fire up these deep stabilizing muscles um, so that we can have those working for us when we do go in and fire up our rectus abdominis and our biceps and our deltoids and those types of things. Welcome back. Let's start with breathing. Breathing helps to fire up our transversus abdominis, our pelvic floor, and our uh, diaphragm moves up and down as we breathe, like we've talked about before. Um, but that helps to stabilize the center of our body. All right, so let's just have a seat, nice and tall, and close your eyes, ladies. And take a nice deep inhale, right and left. Exhale through your mouth, pull your belly to your back, your back to your belly, draw your waist in, lift the bottom up and draw the top down. Good, and go again. Take a nice deep inhale, and big exhale. Belly to the back, back to the belly, waist in, ribs down, pelvis up. Good, go again. Deep breath in, and big breath out. And one more time. Deep breath in and exhale. Beautiful. All right. So breathing is the easiest way to fire up the core of the center of your body. All right. Go ahead and lie down onto your back. And now we're going to work a little bit with your pelvis. Rolling back and forth, again, rolling between your 12 o'clock and your neutral pelvis helps to fire up your internal, external obliques a little bit. Um, and these are just right outside of your transversus abdominis. All right, when we're in neutral, we're helping to fire up and stabilize, again, our transversus abdominis, which is the center, the core of our uh, center area of our pelvis. Take a nice deep inhale here in your neutral. Exhale, pull the tummy down and in and tilt into your 12 o'clock, using your breath to move that. Good, inhale, go back to neutral. Now remember, in neutral, you're not relaxing. You're feeling your belly to your back, your back to your belly, and your waist in. So neutral pelvis is very active. It's not a relaxing area. Go again, inhale, and here we go. Exhale, hollow to 12. Fire up those lower obliques. Good, 
Inhale back into neutral. Go again. Exhale, hollow down and into 12. Beautiful. And inhale back into neutral. One more time. Exhale, hollow into 12. Good. And go back into neutral. Good. Staying in neutral, let's take a few breaths and just reinforce that activity in neutral. Deep inhale. Exhale, hollow, and bring your whole body into the center, in towards your midline at your spine. Go again. Deep inhale, right and left. And exhale. The front comes back, the back comes front, the sides come together, the top down and the bottom up. One more time, big inhale, and big exhale. Belly back, back forward, waist in, ribs down, pelvis up. Good. This idea is the center of the Pilates work that we're working with. Being able to do this well and with a great deal of strength will give you tons of power to do all of our crazy fancy dance moves that we do in the advanced level. All right, let's come up a bit, and I'm gonna have the ladies shift their mat up so that we can slide a little bit. What we're going into now, these are heel slides. Um, and what we're doing is now we're counteracting our abdominals with our hamstrings, all right? So the hamstrings are essential in extension of the leg. They lie right under your gluteus maximus and they help to stabilize actually your hip joint. A lot of times I'll ask my students to do this exercise and they actually lift up their leg off from the ground to slide their leg out. And what they're doing is they're extending their leg using their hip flexor. They're having their front of their leg reach their leg out as opposed to allowing the back of their leg help to reach their leg out. And we wanna work balanced, all right? So find your neutral pelvis, belly to the back, back to the belly, ribs are down, beautiful. You're gonna inhale, flex your right foot. And now as you exhale, press to your right heel and allow that leg to lengthen out. As you're going out, feel the back of the leg work and almost feel like for some people, the front of the leg needs to release. To counteract that pull of the back of the right leg, pull the belly in with that suction cupped sensation. Good. Take a breath while you're down there. And now exhale, draw the leg back up pressing into the right heel. Good, feel the back of the leg working. Yes, and put the right foot down. Excellent, try the left leg. Flex the left foot, inhale. Now exhale, you're gonna lengthen the left leg out, pressing it down, feel the back of the leg work, feel the front of the leg open, feel the belly work to counteract the pull of your hamstrings and the weight of your leg as well. Good job. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press to your heel and now pull the leg up. Again, anchor yourself with your deep stabilizing muscles in the center of your body. Try and maintain neutral pelvis. So try not to let your belly go back and your lower back go down as you do this. Let's do this again on the right. Inhale, flex the right. Exhale, lengthen the right leg out feeling the back of the leg work, the belly go down, using your breath to support you from the center of your body. Good, deep inhale, exhale, press to the heel and pull that right leg up. Feel your neck long and soft, feel your shoulders open and wide. Good, one more time, flex the left foot, inhale, Big breath out, slide it out long. As you do this, if you're doing it properly, your neck and shoulders won't have any tension in it whatsoever. Your abdominals and your hamstrings will have a lot of tension in them though. Good, take a breath and press to the left heel, exhale, draw it back up. Good. Alrighty, nice job ladies. Go ahead and come back onto the mat and let it go back long again. So we just move the mat out of the way so that our feet don't get stuck on the mat while we're doing that. Good, lie back down, bring your arms down. We're going to stay in neutral pelvis, 
All right, we're gonna do our little marches that we've done before, but this time we're not gonna roll into imprint. We're gonna keep our tailbone down. So deep inhale in neutral. Exhale, stay in neutral and pick up your right leg, but don't let your lower back go down. Keep that little natural curve in it. While you're here, make sure your bra strap is down so your upper middle back is open to the mat. Take a breath and put the right leg down. Don't let the belly fly out and keep the pelvis right where it is. Good job, deep breath. Exhale, tummy goes down and in. Lift the left leg. Again, stay in neutral pelvis. Keep your tailbone down. Deep breath and exhale, put that left leg down. Good, deep breath. Exhale, anchor your neutral, lift the right leg. Feel the front of the hip releasing and feel the exercise coming more through the center of your thigh. Take a breath and lower down closer to your midline. We're trying to activate your psoas a bit more here. Good, one more, inhale, exhale, belly down. Pick up the left leg, feel the inner thigh of the left leg almost pull the leg up. Keep the ribs down, neck and shoulders soft, deep breath. And exhale, lower the leg down. Good, and let's go ahead and take a Welcome break. back. We are going to now attempt to segmentally move our spine, all right? Our spine has a ton of muscles in it. There are nine layers of back muscles or spinal muscles. Um, and we're gonna try and get deep close into each one of our vertebrae. Remember, we have 24 joints of our spine, and we're gonna try and massage and rotate or flex and extend each one of those joints, getting very close into the center of it, all right? It gives you much more motion when you're able to do that instead of moving in chunks. But these, again, are deep stabilizing or segmentally moving muscles that do that. So let's start with rotation. Lie on your side. Good, yep, go ahead and bring your head down here. You can line yourself up either in the center or the back of your mat. Allow your right arm to go forward and just let your head rest down right now. And we're gonna bring your arm up by your chest, your left hand up by your chest, so that we don't get confused on whether we're rotating from our shoulder joint or if we're actually moving at our spine through our torso. So we have our internal external obliques that are gonna help to twist us, but also you can think deeper and see if you can sense all of the deep muscles in your spine helping to move you, okay? Let's take a nice deep breath here. Exhale, start to rotate, open your chest. Your right rib and your left hip will come together using your internal external obliques. But we only have about 45 degrees of rotation in our thoracic spine, so see if you can feel deep into the center of your body and sense anything opening up or releasing in there. Good, and come back. And you can either, you can exhale on the way forward. And again, you're gonna feel your left rib and your right hip come together as you do that. Keep your waist lifted so you're in a neutral position lying side as you're doing that. Go again, deep breath and exhale. Feel the deep sensation coming all the way right in through the center, which I mean the core or closest to the center of your body. Good, take a breath and now rotate back. Good, go again, deep inhale and exhale, twist open. You can feel your right arm slide a little more forward. Sometimes that helps to facilitate that rotation. Good, take a breath and exhale, come back. Feeling your spine moving your center. One more time, ladies, deep breath and exhale, twist open. Good job, deep breath and breath out, come back forward. Good, nice. Let's flip, bring our heads the other direction and try the other side. Good. Bring your hand towards your chest. Good, just let your head rest down right now. Keep your underneath waist lifted so your spine is in a neutral alignment sideline. Good, deep breath, and now exhale, twist. 
You're gonna feel your left rib and your right hip come together, but bring your mind's eye down into your spine and see if you can get some more motion and strength in there. Take a breath and exhale, come back forward. Again, feel the muscles or imagine at least the muscles closest to your spine working to make this happen. Deep inhale, and again, exhale, twist. Beautiful. Big breath in, and exhale. Go again, inhale, and exhale, twist. Try and let your shoulder, the muscles of your shoulder be soft right now and just let the muscles in the center of your body work. Deep breath and exhale, come back. One more time. Deep inhale and exhale, twist open. Good. Deep breath in and exhale, bring it back. Very nice. Let's just go on to all fours from where we are, ladies, and we're gonna go into cat stretch. We've done this before, but again, this is getting the deep segmental motion of your spine um, right in closest to your spine, all right? So make sure your elbows have a little bend to them. Make sure your shoulders are down. Tuck your chin back so it's in line. Good, deep inhale. Now from the bottom, exhale, curl under. You can feel your belly and your hamstrings work. And then imagine all the muscles around your spine working to make this happen. Let your head dangle down. Deep breath and exhale, just roll back to neutral. We won't even go to extension today. Just roll your pelvis back into neutral and try and line yourself up in one long line. Good, big breath in. And exhale, pull the tummy button up and in. Tailbone goes down, ribs come up, head dangles. Get a nice big stretch through the back. Deep inhale. And exhale, roll back out. Sequencing through your spine from bottom to top. Feel the distance from your tail to your head as you go. Nice. One more time, ladies. Big inhale and big breath out. Exhale, pull the belly up and in. Scoop the ribs together and let the head fall. Good. Inhale right and left, and exhale. Reach out through the tailbone, glide the shoulders down, and roll yourself back into a neutral place. Great. All right, flip onto your back, heads towards me. Good, yep, and you can just stay that way. Arms down by your sides. Separate your feet six bone distance apart. And now we're gonna peel up and down through our spine here. All right, see how much motion you can get in your spine. As you do this with practice, you get more and more openness through your spine and more control over your abdominals and all of your back muscles. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, roll to 12. Feel your hamstrings engage and peel your spine off. You can do this without using your glutes at all or with using your glutes, but see what happens here on the way up. Good, once you're here, make sure your knees, your hips, your ribs, and your shoulders are in one long line. Take a breath, and now roll down as you exhale from top to bottom, feel your neck go long, open through your upper middle back, and think about your spine moving right now. Good, deep inhale, exhale, pull the abdominals in, but imagine your sacrum reaching down, and then imagine each of your spine opening and separating. See if you can get a sensation of something even deeper than your abdominals. Good. Big breath in and big breath out on the way down. Good. Two more times. Deep breath in. Exhale, curl under, hamstrings work, abdominals work, ribs go down, shoulders soften, neck elongates. Deep breath. And exhale, rolling down from top to bottom, opening at your upper middle back, opening at your lower back, stretching out and back to neutral. One more, deep inhale. Exhale, hollow the tummy down, squeeze those hamstrings and roll yourself up. Beautiful, deep inhale. 
and roll down. Good, and go ahead and relax, ladies. All right, let's move into our shoulder girdle and start exploring some of the deep stabilizing muscles inside of our shoulder. Go ahead, reach your arms right on up to the ceiling and draw your rib cage down. And we're just gonna explore right now how our scapula move, okay? As you breathe in, push your shoulder blades forward, reach your fingertips up to the ceiling and feel them separate across your back. Now as you exhale, pull them back down. Don't pinch them together, just pull them down to the mat. Now inhale, pinch your shoulder blades together, but keep your rib cage down. See if you can feel your shoulder slides backwards and a little pinching sensation between your shoulder blades. Good. And now go back to the center in between forwards and backwards. Go again, push your shoulder blades forward so your arms will reach up. Come back in between forwards and backwards, touch the mat. Make sure that you're doing this at your shoulders and your elbows are not bending. Pinch your shoulder blades together, but keep your bra strap down, keep your rib cage touching the mat and bring it back center. Good, one more round. Push the shoulder blades forward, feel them go apart. Bring them back to center, keep your rib cage down, stay in neutral pelvis with your abdominals engaged and pinch your shoulder blades together, but don't push your ribs forward and come back to center. Nice ladies, bring your arms down by your sides now, palms face down. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up high. Now exhale, slide them down. Don't pinch them together in the back. Keep them wide and keep your ribs down. As you do this, feel your neck lengthen. Again, inhale, shrug your shoulders up high. And exhale, scoop and pull them down. Flatten your abdominals. Again, inhale, shrug them up. Exhale, slide them down to your hips, but make sure they don't pinch together and keep your ribs connecting. Good, one more time. Inhale, shrug them up. And exhale, bring them down. 